4th of July is right around the corner and that is one of my favorite holidays because as long as I can remember since I was born, it was kind of a family reunion get together for me. So we're gonna make some red, white, and blue rocks kind of in the theme of the geode rocks that we did a couple of weeks ago. So I'm taking red, white, and blue paint and I'm playing around between putting it on the rocks and putting it on the foam brush. And then I kind of wanted to create a swipe across the middle of the rocks to leave some of the stone exposed on the top and the bottom and then we'll write some things on the red white and blue and I've noticed that it's very easy to lose the white in this process so I did have to go back and add some white here and there and kind of play around with the colors because it was a little different than having a five color rainbow like the other geode rocks and I think it was also a case of sometimes you can get a little out of control with the foam brush and go over it too many times and then it really starts blending the paint so getting the perfect amount of paint and just doing one or two swipes I think would be ideal but I got a little overzealous so what can I say we have some interesting lines got all of the stripes on and they are dry to the touch I'm going to take this silver paint and a disposable eyeliner brush and use the lines created by the foam brush to add some silver highlights so I'm just kind of following the shape there's kind of a, um, a rolling shape kind of a swirly shape and I'm following that with the paintbrush and just adding some silver highlights and then I'm going to come back with silver glitter but I'm gonna wait until after we get the writing on these rocks to put the silver glitter because I know I'm gonna write over some of these silver lines and I don't wanna to have to write over the kind of the bumpiness of the glitter paint. Here I come with a broad tipped Posca paint pen. This is a white Posca paint pen and I thought I would write wild and free and add some little highlight marks. And then we're just gonna kind of see what kind of phrases. I kind of stuck on let freedom ring and wild and free. I thought that would be fun for both the 4th of July and summer and just kind of making these some fun rocks that we can hide around back home when we go for the 4th of July. I like doing a mixture of the script and the print and then thickening up the downstrokes on the script for that nice faux calligraphy. Now I'm gonna come back with that silver glitter paint and give highlights to the silver highlights that are exposed still. So this prevented me having to write over the glitter paint but it really takes those little highlight lines to the next level because they get very sparkly. And then I'm also taking that silver glitter paint and putting it on the outer edges in kind of a thicker band to kind of tie the whole design together. The lettering to kind of pop a little bit more so I came back through with some of my uni pin fine liner pens and I'm creating either shadows or completely outlining some of the writing just to make it pop 
And then to make it pop further, I'm gonna take the Extreme Hologram Glitter Paints, kind of that iridescent clear hologram glitter and put it all over the letters, just so we have tons of sparkle. Like, sparklers are the thing on the 4th of July, right? So we're gonna add all the sparkle to these rocks. And now the last extra level of sparkle is this Holograph Illusions Chunky Glitter Paint that I'm gonna to add to those edge borders. I also wanted to leave some of these stones with the stone, the natural stone exposed because they're so pretty and then when the resin goes on it exposes the stone even more and you see all of the detail in them. So they're so pretty as you can see here. Full of sparkle, full of shine, a whole lot of fun for hiding on the 4th of July. Let me know in the comments what your plans are for the 4th of July. If you're kicking back at home, are you going on vacation or camping, or what fun things do you have planned? Thanks so much for stopping by to watch. Have a happy holiday weekend next week. Be safe, don't drink and drive, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.